You guys, sorry, I had to take the camera off the thing. I was actually turning the camera off and getting everything like situated, resituated, like undoing my whole thing. So, so I have to do this like catfish style. But um, I forgot to mention that I'm trying something new with the resolution of the camera. So the video tonight is kind of blurry. I do sincerely apologize for that. But I'm trying to figure out the right resolution and frames per second and everything with this camera. So yeah, just wanted to mention that. Sorry if it's blurry. I'm aware. I'm messing around with the camera situation. So just a heads up. All right. Hey guys, it's me, Marty, by myself this time instead of having my whole family here like I did last time. Um, and welcome back to Glam with Marty. Tonight, I have something kind of special for you guys. I have a full face, almost a full face of first impressions. So I have a bunch of things that I haven't tried before, a bunch of products I haven't tried, a bunch of brands I haven't tried, all kinds of stuff that I'm excited to share with you guys. So here is what I have today for y'all. I'm going to start like kind of flying through the ingredients. Ingredients. I've been watching more seasoning and he goes through all the ingredients first. So that's kind of how I'm going to start doing my product list in the beginning of the video, just so y'all can see everything that we're trying out in one shot. So you can decide if you want to stay or not. So here's what we're trying out today. The cream shop. I am balanced beauty water lipstick queen altered universe lip gloss in the shade meteor shower, a four pack of moisturizing lip balm from Nicole Miller, the Perfection foundation from La Rock, Los Angeles, and the Brow Down To Me Precision Brow Pencil from Joa Cosmetics. If you guys want to see what I think about all those products, just go ahead and stay tuned. I'm going to do full packaging review, try out, create this look with that. But before we get to the actual try out, please subscribe to the channel. Please give this video a like. I post new videos every single Saturday morning. So that way, if you want to keep up with it, you need to subscribe so you know that I post it. Doi. Also, thank you guys so much on all of the love from my last video, my Mother's Day video. Everybody really, really enjoyed it. My family was so honored to have such high numbers on the video. So, um, yeah. So, thank you guys for that. So, anyway, without further ado, let's get to the video. Let's go and get glam. First things first, I'm going to put my hair back using this beautiful little Chanel um, headband that I got. I forgot the name of the store that sent this to me, so I'll link it down below. But I was talking about it on my Instagram and everything, so this one is the white one. Yeah, I've never used these before, so I wanted to use them on camera for the first time. Because that's why they sent They were like, you can use this for your videos, because we know you shoot videos and da-da-da-da. And it is Chanel. Chanel. And it has the little C's on the front. Oh, yeah, there you go. So, the C's are on the front. I slide this on because we're doing a whole face situation today. Okay, I have to review this thing. So I was like, I guess I'll use it tonight to try it out. Because y'all know with my headaches, like headbands are like stressful for me. Like sometimes, anyway, whatever. So the first step of my beauty routine on a regular basis is the first thing that we're going to try out today. This is the I Am Balance Beauty Water from The Cream Shop. Um, I got this actually at CVS. I reviewed another one a while back from... Um, my mom actually was shopping and got two of these. She got one that was pink. I forgot what it was called, but I did review it in another video. I could not find which video it was a little while ago. If I can find it, I'll put a link for it up there. But if you don't see a link, I'm sorry, I couldn't find it. I apparently didn't put it in the title. But anyway, so this is the Cream Shop Eye and Balance Beauty Water. I believe the one she had was called Youth Water. Um, it has rose hip oil and pure coconut water. Y'all know I love that. Hydrating and pH balance. First of all, packaging. Can we have a word about it? Cream Shop has been like showing up. They're like running uh, CVS right now, by the way. I don't know what's going on, but they're killing it over there. So we got it. Um, let me give y'all some glam stats on it first before we actually test it out. It retails for $15 at thecreamshop.com. And I am going to, again, of course, put a link to everything I try on today. I'm going to put that all down below. So it's $15. We got it on sale at CVS for two dollars let me use my other hand so y'all can really see two dollars so yeah I remember the pink one that the packaging was gorgeous this one I believe is my favorite color so let's and this is just I'm gonna just use it as a prep spray I think you could probably use it to wet sponges instead of a setting spray like all that kind of stuff um, I always start my beauty routine with this I'm actually gonna open it from the bottom because I love the box and I want it to be intact for my oh I already broke it never mind I love the color Ooh, okay so this is the bottle I'll try so I always do this before I even do primers and whatnot like right now I just have moisturizer and like cream uh, eye cream and all that crap that I did this morning okay so let's get to work so this is the water 
The beauty water, I'm gonna smell it first. It's got coconut water, y'all know how I feel about coconut water. Couple pumps, Ugh, love the packaging. Mmm, smells good, what's in here? Rose hip, okay, that must be the rose hip oil. And it's made in Korea, so this is a K-Beauty brand? Okay, cream shop, all right. Oh, this pump is a little. Hard to pump, but I did that. I'm going to actually go and prime my eyes now, and I'll be back to start my brows with y'all because I have a new brow product to try today as well. So, be right back. Okay, y'all. So, next product I have is something new actually, a whole new brand. I've never heard of them before. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the. This is from a brand called Joa, J O H A. I'll put a screenshot of it too because I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. This is the Precision Brow Pencil. It's called Brow Down To Me, which I think is adorable. I actually grabbed it at CVS too. That video my mom and I shot last week, I needed another brow pencil because I'm out of precisely my brow. I am out of ColourPop Brow Boss. I am out of Anastasia Beverly Hills, Brow Wiz. Those are all brow pencils that I use to carve out my brow, like to kind of outline it first. And I'm out of all of that. So I was like, okay, I have to find something to do um with my brow because like i can definitely see a difference when i don't pencil it out first can we talk about the packaging it is so pretty it's that pretty baby blue color again and check this out so they both match this is the beauty water that we just applied and then this is the brow pencil from joa so i really like that of course so the joa um pencil i want to talk about it a little bit before i actually get started the packaging is so pretty it has some um, like tips on the back of how to do this. It's got, I got it in the shade brunette, which is like a dark brown. I mean, my hair is pretty much black now, but I don't like, I find that's just like so heavy when they're that color. I may regret that after I actually try this out. And then we have the pencil itself. So let me get you some glam stats real quick. Okay, so first of all, something funny kind of happened when we went to the store. This stuff retails for $8.99, but I remember when we were leaving, the total was like $9. So I don't know if the guy didn't apply the coupons correctly, and then we were actually returning something else. It was a whole big to-do, but so I'm not sure exactly what happened, but these retail for $8.99 at CVS is where I found it. I don't know if they're anywhere else. I did um, get the picture from their website, so I'm assuming you could get it there too, but I got it uh, online at CVS. And this, I mean online at CVS, in person at CVS. And then also, I'm trying to use this to like replace precisely my brow, which is my favorite one from Benefit. It's so good. I just didn't want to spend that much because I don't use them that much anymore. I mostly just use them for that, for to outline. So I was like, mm, I could try something a little lower because the the ColourPop Brow Boss work just fine too. I love this package. Just, even the outside box is just nice it looks like it's worth a lot more than ten dollars and that's another k-beauty brand is that what it says inspired by k-beauty oh my god i love the way the packaging looks but it's so hard to get i've been fighting with this thing for like 20 minutes i bet if you fill in your brows with a pencil i bet that's pretty good like to make like hair like strokes i personally don't do that oh here we go finally it's beautiful okay so this is it i'm looking at the little color indicator on the on the top right here and I think it might be a little light for what I need, but let's see what it looks. I just want to swatch it real quick before I just start going in on my brows with it. Uh, it'll it'll do. It's really light, but it'll do for brows. I mean, and a nice spoolie. I like the spoolie. So I'm gonna zoom y'all in a little tiny bit, and then we're going to go ahead and try this out. I'm excited. Also, real quick before we get started, I just want to remind y'all that this product is under ten dollars, which is really good. The first two products are both drugstore products. But I just want to say that because to quote um, Gabby Hanna's famous line, manage your expectations. Okay, it was $10. It's not running the same price as Benefit or Anastasia. So just a fair warning. I just don't want anybody like, that thing sucks. It might. But for $10, I'm not expecting greatness. Okay, and I'm just using it to outline. So I love that it has a spoolie on the end because of the fact that I hate having to go back and forth. I shoot all the way across from my glam room, which is in the same room, but it's a big effing room like you, if you followed any of my instagram or snapchat or anything you've seen me pan across it's a big room so it's annoying to have to walk all the way back there and walk all the way back here that's why i try to do things in like groups so that when i go to touch up the rest of my makeup i can just sit there and do all that and then come back and stay on this side for a little while because it's a lot and especially moving the tripod i've knocked it down so many times set things on fire it's been a whole issue so 
using the Lorac Pro palette. This is the original, like the first one. I'm going to be using that one to do my eyebrows. So I just brought the uh, compact, I mean, my eye shadow to, uh, so I just brought it over to do my brows too, since I'll be using it anyway in a minute. Just to brush up the lashes. Oh, I need to do my brows. I mean, lashes, the brows. Oh, I want y'all to see this. So inside of the cap, they painted it blue. I just, I really like that. Y'all know how I am with detail. I really like that. They didn't have to do that. Like, that's, that's really cool. Really cool. Um, what's your name? Joa? Joa? Okay, it's a little tiny bit light, but like I said, I, I just use these to carve out, so. It goes on really smooth, though, I will tell you that, which is good. I, I hate when I'm scratching my eyebrow, like, to death. I never do my brows on camera. Like, if y'all want a brow tutorial, let me know, I'll do one. But I never, ever do my brows on camera. I always come on with my brows already done, but... Y'all know I like a really fine point. I like to round out my point here at the top. I like this, though. It's a good pencil. It's a good pencil. Because, like, it, it went on super smooth. I'm looking at it in the viewfinder, but it went on super smooth. Good pigment. Yeah, it's good. I mean, for less than $10, that's crazy. Look at that. It's very precise, which is what I was looking for. Like... I was trying to explain to my mom while we were in there. She's like, but this one is thicker. And I was like, that's the problem. I literally don't want a thick pencil to outline with. I need to be able to get precisely where I need. That's why I love the precisely my brow so much. So if you wanted to fill in with this, you could, but it would probably take a while. Yeah, I, I like this. This is nice. This is I already really enjoy this brow pencil, though. Y'all will tell y'all that. I really like this so far. Before I go and do a little work on my brows, um, and I guess I'll do my eyeshadow and all that because when I come back, we're doing a foundation. I do want to really quickly, because my lips are pretty dry, because I actually even cut my lip here. Y'all see that? Anytime I have like a string of migraines, I get really dehydrated. I don't know exactly why that is, but I get really dehydrated and my lips will get really, really cracked. And then when I open my mouth wide, like to eat something or to yawn, even to yawn, It'll crack right there. That always freaking happens to me. So, anyway. So, I want to review the Nicole Miller Moisturizing Lip Balm 4-Pack. So, this is the 4-Pack here. I actually got this around Christmas, if you can't tell by the holiday packaging. I have one I've been using. It's Sugar Plum. I love the packaging on this. That's literally why I bought it. So, I've been using Sugar Plum, but it's almost out. So, I wanted to try a new flavor. They have peppermint, vanilla, and cinnamon. So, what? I think I'm going to do vanilla. Let me give y'all some quick glam stats on this. I couldn't find this exact one because, again, it's clearly a holiday item. It even has a little to and from thing on the back. Like, if you were given this as, like, a stocking stuffer, which I love doing stuff like that as stocking stuffers because, like, my family already knows I'm really, really into beauty. Um, obviously, y'all saw last week. Um, and so I like to give those kinds of things as stocking stuffers. But also, a four-pack like this, you could get it and break it up if you want to. But I like stuff that people will have in them. Uh, in them. Uh, people will have in their purse or their makeup bag where they're gonna always every time they use it like oh so and so gave it to me you know what I mean I just like that kind of stuff so anyway I'm currently using sugar plum I want to try a new one I think I'll go with vanilla because me um but I want to give y'all some glam stats on it I purchased this at TJ Maxx for $4.99 again it was during the holidays and they retail for I could not find this on Nicole Miller's website but I was able to find it on her store on Amazon retails for $15.99 and I got it for $4.99 at TJ Maxx and I could not find this exact one but I found like similar ones but they just have different scents or uh, flavors this one has mint vanilla rose and honey that I'm putting a picture of right here and it's only $10.99 if you go to Amazon to get it but it's $4.99 if you go to TJ Maxx to get it and I went to TJ Maxx this weekend and they do still have Nicole Miller four packs of lip balm but they do not have this particular set because, again, it's clearly a holiday set. But, like, I can't speak for y'all, but I do not leave my house without some sort of lip balm in my makeup bag. And so I love these because I just think they're so cute when you pull them out. Like, legit, who doesn't want to see this in their makeup bag when they are touching up their lipstick? So I love the packaging. It's so cute and whimsical and fun. And I don't know Nicole Miller for beauty. Um, but baby, she's diversified because she got house stuff, she got beauty, she got fashion, she has all kinds of things, so. 
It's okay, not great, you know. Not Sarah Hap, but all right. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go now and fill in these brows. And oops, and I'm going to go ahead and start prepping my face and do my eyes and all that stuff. And I will see y'all back in a second. Okay, so now my eye makeup is done. My, why do I, I hate this big shadow that's always on me. I don't know if it's something to do with the, it is. It's definitely the light because the light's behind this then the big ring light. Anyway, whatever, tell for another time. So the next product I'm so excited to try because I've never even heard of this before. So y'all know Lorac, Lorac Pro Palette. The, I love, that's my favorite well, second favorite. Now I love the Anastasia uh, Narvina. But anyway, the Lorac Pro Palette 3 was my favorite one for a really long time. They also, I also have their primer and I love it. But I saw at Ross the other day when my mom and I, of course, who else would it be, went to Ross and we found a Lorac foundation. I had no idea they make a foundation. So this is the Lorac, um, what is it called? Perfection Foundation. It's all free, paraben free, fragrance free broad spectrum sunscreen of a SPF of 20 which is pretty good for a foundation so it's in the shade golden tan which sounds like it would be right in my alley this was the only one they had the only shade they had they had a couple of them but it was only the shade um it was a couple glam stats it, it was $5.99 at raw it retails for check this out because I was pleasantly surprised so it retails for, okay, it retails for $38. It's on sale right now on their website for $19. But the retail price is $38, and we got it at Ross for $5.99. So literally cheaper than a NYX foundation. And again, no offense to NYX. I just always say those things so that you guys could get a good comparison. So unfortunately, it is already 9 o'clock at night, so I can't do like a 24-hour test on it. Um, I don't know that it's claiming to be long lasting. Let's actually read it. Packaging. Lorac is always like super classy though. Lorac Los Angeles. So it's just the black with the white. It has the color indicator on the top, which I love because I can't stand opening packages in the store. I hate that. So if you don't have a tester and off retail stores usually don't have testers, please have the decency to give me an indicator on the top of what I'm getting into. Please like that's which I know they don't make it for off retail stores. You know what I'm trying to say. I really don't have time to explain all this. So, my eyes are done, brows are done, um, lashes are done, all that stuff is done, face is primed. I don't have color correct concealer because I really want to see what this foundation can do, so I didn't color correct yet, but um, if it doesn't work, then we'll talk about that. Okay, so let's see what it says. Perfect and protect with pore, all caps, affection, foundation. This oil, paraben, and fragrance-free form, oh good, form formula is infused with anti-aging antioxidants of vitamin a and e olive leaf extract lemon fruit extract and papaya fruit extract to help soothe nourish and rejuvenate while spf 20 provides protection from uva and uvb rays to help skin to help keep skin healthy youthful and radiant get a poreless looking silky smooth finish and achieve complexion perfection with Lorac los angeles okay uh, provides medium to full coverage and is suitable for all skin types. I hate when people say that, including sensitive skin. Pump out foundation and apply using sponge, brush, or fingertips. Can be applied for lightly. Can, apply, can be applied lightly for medium finish or layered for a fuller cover. Shake well before use. Okay, so packaging again. Outside box. I love. It's looks like I would expect a Lorac product to look. I'm gonna open it from the box. Oh. Can we have a word for a second about this packaging, though, Lorac? Now, again, Lorac, I, they don't play around, so I'm not surprised. But I just, this is beautiful. This component is freaking beautiful. Love it. Okay, so it's got this nice, clear package. I mean, nice, clear, like, they have it in, it is plastic, though. I will tell you all this. It's not glass, obviously. It doesn't feel like glass to me anyway. Um, sticker on the bottom with the shade name. I love that it has, like, this encasing. Like, you can see the foundation inside. But then it's encased by this like clear plastic, a really good high quality plastic, but still plastic, just not glass. Just, just so we clear, $38, I would expect it to be glass. Then we have um, this clear plastic top. Then it reveals this hematite colored like kind of pump component, like a hematite gunmetal kind of uh, pump component. So I'm excited to try it. Now this is the first time I used it, so it's gonna probably take a couple pumps to get it to work. But it did say shake well first. I've learned my lesson with the NYX statement, not flat, that when they say shake well, you need to shake it, ooh, 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 ooh. which usually when it's a, 
normally when it says to shake well, it's usually a pretty liquidy foundation. But um, yeah, we'll see. This is actually for my mom. So she actually bought it. She's like, you can review it if you want to, but you can't have it. It's mine. I'm hoping that it's too light coverage for her so that she gets stuff too. Don't think she doesn't. She gets stuff too. So Perfection. I did actually use the Benefit Professional Primer today or some of it. I used it around where I have like larger pores. Um, but yeah, so I guess should I zoom you? Yeah, let me zoom y'all in so y'all can really see. Well, I'll get closer to y'all. I'm not going to move this tripod because he's been... Oh, that's better, actually. You don't have that black thing either. Okay. So it said you could use it with your fingertips or a brush. So I'm going to use my Morphe JH03 foundation brush because I love this foundation brush. It's so good. It replaced my Japanese for my favorite foundation brush right now. I don't usually apply with a with a brush in my fingertips, but since I have um, no color correct concealer, I think it's okay to go ahead and apply with a brush so we can really see what it does. So for our first layer, just in case we have to do more than one, I'm going to apply it with my fingertips and put like five dots, then blend it out with the brush. Oh no, so it feels like it's gonna come. Oh yeah, look at that. What am I looking at it like it's some kind of like experiment? So this is kind of thick, pretty color. Oh, it's light. Oh, it's so light. Oh my gosh, I hope it blends in well. I can never like reverse. I can never flip it. Put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Oh, crap. Oh, it doesn't look that bad. Maybe it's something about the light. It doesn't look that bad in the mirror. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. I was overreacting a tad bit. I don't think I was overreacting. Though. It was really light when I first applied the dots. But, um, like, depending on the texture you like. Like, it reminds me of my Laura Mercier. Um, I can't remember which one it's called. When I find it, I'll, I'll, I'll put a picture of it right here. But, um... The Laura Mercier, but not the runny one. It's the one that's in the brown. It's like a solid brown container. I like mine a little tiny bit lighter, but it is, it said like silky and stuff. I think it doesn't, I think it's really matte actually. Yeah, they said medium to full and I, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. I think this, what I have on right now is definitely a pretty medium coverage. And they said it doesn't have a fragrance, but it does have a smell to it that I don't care too much for, but maybe with a sponge because I feel like it just looks so like I don't know like cakey or something um I'm going to spray my beauty blender real quick I keep saying beauty blender but it's just a beauty sponge you know it's from Anastasia so I'm going to use that freaking foundation got all over everything it's all over my pro palette it's all over so I'm just wetting this beauty blender a little bit with my organic coconut water oh I'm almost out god dog it I had this for a long time but still so just wetting it a little bit because the texture of that foundation is so thick. I think maybe wetting the sponge a little bit, getting it nice and a little bit wet. Because I find the foundation just looks so freaking dry and like cakey. So we need to not have that happen. Hold on a second. Okay, so I put a little bit more foundation on my sponge. And I want to go in where I have some texture. Oh, oh, La Rock. Oh my God. What in the heck? I got it on my shirt. Dude, come on, man. And this crap is thick, so I take that mug off immediately. Because it's going to be all over everything. Okay, it's better when you apply with a damp sponge, for sure. Thousand percent. It's not quite as heavy. Yeah, so this foundation definitely uses a sponge, a moist sponge. I'm going to go and work a little bit more on my look. Uh, th that color, though, even though it looks so light at first is such a good match you just can't like when it's concentrated all in one place it didn't look that great but after spreading it out with the brush and then the blender i love the color i love the shade i still don't care that much for the formula because it's just so heavy but that's more a me thing that's not really a uh problem with the formula that's just not the texture of foundation all right so i'm gonna go and work some more on my look i'm actually going to come back when we're almost finished to do my last product of the day which is a lip gloss so i'm gonna go get myself together and i'll be right back hey guys so my look is completely done i will tell y'all this about this foundation though i legitimately dropped a little tiny dot on my shirt and i went to take it off with makeup remover i also use shampoo which is what i use to clean all my brushes and what i usually use to get makeup out of clothes and legitimately y'all i cannot get that freaking crap to budge so I know it's not meant to go on a shirt, but I figure if it sticks this well on a shirt this quickly, 
it's gonna stick pretty well um, on your face so last product we have is a this is actually my first product from this brand I've never used anything from this lipstick Queen altered universe lip gloss in the shade meteor shower this of course surprise came from TJ Maxx as most things do and let me get y'all some glam stats on it so this retails for $22 I could not find their website or anything so I got this information from Ulta so the screenshot I'm gonna put is gonna be from Ulta but this is from lipstick Queen it is called altered universe lip gloss this is meteor shower which they call a shimmering bronzy gold with platinum pearls Ooh. The package is pretty so just from the picture here I haven't seen the actual thing yet but just from the picture at Ulta it looks like it's pretty but it's gonna be more like a topper so I did go ahead and put lipstick on I'll have it linked below but I, I use the Marc Jacobs um, a Marc Jacobs lipstick crayon or something I can't remember what it's called and uh, I also used an essence lip liner to give it like a little pink you but um, it is going to uh, just be like a topper this lip gloss I'm gonna show you all swatch of it on my hand though before I apply it but I just wanted to mention that. Full transparency, I do have a little tiny bit of lip color on because it is a lip gloss. And this one is a shimmery one, so I think it's going to be more like a topper. So, you know, just wanted to share that. So, I love it. Lipstick Queen has beautiful packaging. My mom is kind of obsessed with Lipstick Queen. I don't really... And I keep bringing her up because she's like my beauty partner. Like, she'll call me and say, hey, I have this, I don't have this, whatever. Um, so, like, she likes Lipstick Queen's lipstick because their packaging is absolutely outstanding. So... I'm excited to see what their lip gloss looks like. Their packaging is the silver, pretty reflective with the purple. Top says Meteor Shower. Oh, I forgot to tell you how much we paid for it, right? So it was $22 retail at TJ Maxx. It was on sale for $4.99, and then it was on clearance of that, bringing it to $4. So you said $22, and I heard $4. Gorgeous. This is so pretty. This is my first Lipstick Queen product. Uh, again, I've never tried their stuff. I know they're the ones that have the green that turns into like a nude or whatever. I don't understand that, but whatever. I love the size of the bottle. It's a good, I like that cap. Ooh, the cap is not shiny, so it's easy for me to twist off. My hands are always super sweaty. So like, I, I look into that because it'll just keep sliding out of my hand. Oh, it's glitter. It's way more glittery than I thought. You could, let me turn the light down a little tiny bit. Yeah, I could have used this as just a lipstick, but it's like really, I mean, Meteor Shower is a good name for it. Got a little closer to you guys again just so y'all can really see it when I apply it. And the rest of my makeup is like done. Like I'm not adding anything else after this. I've set. I just like don't want to have this shirt anymore. I've dropped everything on this shirt tonight. So let me up the. Alright so. Girl. I wouldn't think this would be something I'd like. But I like it a lot actually. Really like moisturizing but not sticky. I'm surprised. I thought it was going to be stick. I thought it was going to be. Sticktastic, monkey on a stick. It's not y'all can see my lips are not like stuck together. Yeah. Hold on a second. Ooh. Hey, you saw my check? No, I didn't see it. Hold on one second. Let me check. I got both. <gasps> Ooh, you a bad girl. Hey y'all, so this is the completely finished look. I like the way it came out. This was just a first impression. So everything I tried on today. I had not used before so I'm ready to give y'all my final ratings on everything so let's go um, with the last thing I used first I don't know how I'm gonna do this but I'm gonna start with the last thing the first thing I want to discuss is the lipstick queen um, what is it called altered universe <laughs> lip gloss in the shade meteor shower so I used this lipstick today as a, a lip gloss today as a topper on some other lipstick and a lip liner and I have to say, I love it. I think it's really good. It's not sticky. I like the way it looks. It's like festive and fun. I could also see you doing a lip where you have like a matte or satin lipstick all the way around and then just kind of dotting this in the center and blending it out to make your lips look like, like a little plumper. I really, really like this and I'm surprised because that's not usually my style. You know, gold glitter on the lips is not a thing. But also something else I noticed about it that I like is that my teeth still look pretty white, even though it has like a white cast to it. And usually when anything has a white or a gray cast, your teeth will look yellow. Not just mine, but like anybody, like just based on color. So I don't know how that works, but I really like this. It's pretty. It's not super glittery, even though it looks super glittery in the tube. It's not super glittery, but I just, I think it's beautiful. And $4 at TJ Maxx, that was a good deal. Now, I don't know that I'd pay $22 for any kind of glittery lip gloss, but $4 at TJ Maxx, not so bad and the last time I went they still had stuff from lipstick queen there so 
that wasn't like a one-off it seems like it'll be there for a while so let's go with the next thing okay so the next thing we're going to talk about is the um cream shop i am balanced beauty water so that's this blue it was uh let me show y'all the bottle Hold on. okay so the cream shop i am balanced beauty water it has rosehip oil and pure coconut water. It's supposed to be hydrating and pH balanced. Okay, so this is the first thing I used tonight, and I will tell you guys. I Oh, I just realized I didn't shake it before I used it. Maybe that made a difference. It was like $2 at CVS, and uh, it's just a, pro a prep spray kind of to me, or like a refresher spray, like if you're uh, to tone skin after cleansing, to prime makeup, to set makeup, blah, blah, blah. I would not use it to prime makeup or to set makeup. I'll tell you that right now. I would use it as a... Like, like I said, like a prep spray, like a priming water or like a refresher, like you keep it in your purse when it's hot outside to kind of refresh your makeup. I could see it for that, but I will tell you this, and it could be because it's old. I can't even tell you when I got this thing, but I felt right after I sprayed it that I had a little tiny bit of a reaction to it. You can see my face is not red. It wasn't welts or anything like that, but I just felt a little bit of a sting, which I thought was odd because it's supposed to be a balanced beauty water. So if anything, it was supposed to calm the skin but it almost felt more like if you have like a plumping effect uh, or something that's supposed to make you look plump or something like with hyaluronic acid or something. That's kind of what it felt like. And I don't know why I did that, um, but I didn't have a problem with it. Uh, the smell was a little strong for me. I'm going to give it three out of five diamonds, but again, it's just a prep spray. So I don't know how much hurt it could do or, you know, how impressive it could be. It's just a prep spray. So it was all right. So. Three out of five diamonds for this one. I don't know if I said it earlier, but the Lipstick Queen lip gloss, I'm going to give it a five out of five diamonds. I think the price point is a little bit high, but I got it for four bucks, so I'll give it five out of five diamonds. Okay. Oh, I had to pick up these things off the floor. So next thing I want to talk about are the Nicole Miller four-pack of Lip Balm Trio. I used the vanilla one today, but I already have Sugar Plum. I just love the packaging. Again, same as last time. It's just a lip balm. Like, they can't be that exciting. It wasn't mind-blowing. It wasn't like a Sarah Hap or um, I have this Lavender Pacifica lip mask. It didn't like blow my freaking mind. Uh, it didn't smell amazing, didn't taste amazing. But I will say, excuse me, again, love the packaging. It was $5 for four of these. It did make my lips feel pretty smooth. Again, wasn't amazing. It's just a lip balm. Um, I would give that one four out of five diamonds because I just love the packaging so much. And they, they do smell really good. All right, next, I want to, oh, this stuff. Okay, so this was the second thing I tried, the Joa Brow Down To Me Precision Brow Pencil. I love this stuff. Like, it is up there for me with, I'm going to go so far as to say the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I don't think it's quite as creamy as the um, Precisely My Brow. Benefit Cosmetics, I wouldn't say it's quite that, it doesn't glide on quite as easily but it's really good just to outline. I don't know how I would do to fill in the brow because the point is so, so, so small, but fill in the brow, which is what I wanted it for. Look at that. I actually think it's been a while since my brows look this good. And I'm not going to attribute all of that to this pencil, but it definitely helps. So I love this. Five out of five for this for sure. And it's under $10. That's like really amazing. So then we have the Lorac Perfection Foundation. Do not apply it with a brush. Okay, applying it with a brush, it's too dry, it's like super duper matte, and it didn't look skin-like at all. When I went back and applied it with a damp sponge, changed everything, and I really like the foundation. It lasts, uh, well, it, it doesn't say it's long-lasting, so I don't want to say it will last like all day because I haven't tried it. But they suggest to use it on your fingertips or sponge or brush for me way way better application with the sponge for sure a thousand percent i will tell y'all too i think it's gonna stay a long time because i actually spilled a tiny drop on my shirt you can see it right here i have tried now y'all to use makeup remover i've tried to use shampoo i tried to use a makeup remover wipe i've tried to use a stain remover i don't know how i'm gonna get the stain out of my shirt but it hit and when i tell you it sat there maybe two minutes before i washed it will not come out which to me is a good sign because it means it's gonna last a long time Maybe just either apply a little bit at a time or apply it when you're not dressed and your clothes you're going to wear outside of the house. Like outside of the, don't like maybe don't get dressed in your fineries before putting this on because you don't want to mess it up. So this one, though, I will give it a three out of five because it's just really heavy. It's not super skin like um, it's pretty thick. And I, I just for me, I like a more runny like the NARS um, radiant foundation, I think it's called. 
that's like one of my favorite foundations right now. The um, Too Faced Tutti Fruity Fresh Glow Foundation. It's such a lighter coverage. This is definitely full coverage if you're into that. I, I do like it, but it's just, for me, it was a little bit heavy. So three out of five diamonds for that one. So that's everything. So thank you guys so, so much for joining me tonight. Um, but I, uh, I really like how everything came out. All of this stuff was on Ultra Mega Deals. I will be linking that below. Not linking. I'm going to list everything down below. Well, I am going to link these. The ones I featured on camera, I am going to link those. The ones that I used off camera, I am going to list them down below. I'm not going to link every one of them because some of them are no, no longer available. But that way, if you had any questions or you want to see what I used or how I use it, you can see all of that listed down below in the description box. All right, so again, thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I really appreciate it. Um, if you wanted to follow my glam in real time as well as see the deals of the day and just all kind of random stuff. But all beauty related. So like makeup, shopping, all that stuff is going to be on my Instagram page, which you can follow right here. Thank you again for 300 um, followers. I really, really appreciate it. Again, I keep saying this, but I just didn't think anyone would care enough when I set up that Instagram account to actually follow it. And I surely did not expect to have more um, followers than I have subscribers on here. But so thank you guys for that. Also, my Twitter page is going to be right here. And on there, you will see live tweets from tv shows sports there's a lot going on in the nfl right now as we're getting ready for like all the schedules came out this week and we're getting ready to go back into preseason and it's just a big deal and i'm excited about it so i'm always like tweeting about all of those things also tv show commentary music commentary all kind of crap all that's going to be on my twitter page which is right there um don't forget to subscribe please like the video if you like what you saw here hit the notification bell i do post videos every single saturday but i do post random ones in between when i can and when i feel like it also i do have a giveaway coming when i get to 200 subscribers i'm just having issues with that freaking palette but i will get it and i will show it to you guys soon as i can so if you want to see what's going on with that you can go ahead and subscribe um and that's it i guess i'll see you guys next time you get glam if you come over here and get glam with marty be you be true see you later Bye.